Jay, uh, obviously, you've, you know, a cu couple setbacks early in the UFC run against some really talented guys, though, of course. I mean, I guess, what, what do you take out of your, your first two UFC experiences? I haven't been given any favors, you know what I mean? So, you know, um, and I, you shouldn't expect them, honestly. Uh, I fought Mario Batista, who's going to be, like I said, I've been saying it since the matchup, that is a top 15 prospect right there, you know. Um, I took him for three rounds on six days. He is murdering people. Let's just, let's get that out the way. He is hurting people. Um, AQ, it was in the same position I was. I am now, you know. So, um, and he's a, he's a dog, that guy. You know, you hit some guy 23 times in 10 seconds and he doesn't fall. I don't know what to tell you, you know. Uh, but, uh, well, you know, uh, I had growing pains at the beginning of my career. Um, I was 3-3 three and three to start, so I didn't, I didn't have a very illustrious start to my career. Um, and it just took me learning how to win, you know, as a professional. And I think that's kind of the same thing that's happening now is that uh, I had a little bit of a rough go is, you know, my last fight with AQ was more about like pacing. I was more paced for a five round fight instead of a three round fight. Um, so we, we adjusted that and I think it was just growing pains. That's really what it is. And once I start rattling off this win, um, it'll just keep going from there. So, um, you know, you get caught up in the moment, you get caught up in everything and, you know, you work for 14 years to get to the place, then you get there and you're like, well, I don't know what to aim for now, you know? And that was kind of where I was at. So. Um, we've adjusted, and, and uh, I'm, I'm more than confident about Saturday night. That's awesome, man. Like, it's a mature mindset. I mean, ha it, it, has it been difficult to keep that or to arrive to that? Like, were there moments of frustration or like, what the hell? Like, I, like you said, I worked all the time to get here, and this, this ain't going the way I thought it was going to go. Uh, you know, I mean, if life has taught me anything, it is exactly that, is that things don't go your way, and they might not come uh, the way you want them to. Um, I think that, and the way that I've taken, of course, this frustration, you know, you work, I, you know, three, four sessions a day, you know, you cut 30 pounds, you know, you do all this stuff, you do all the mental work, and then it just doesn't work out. Um, you know, I think that all of my misfortune has brought me to this moment, if I'm honest. Uh, I think that if I had beaten AQ, I wouldn't be fighting Raul in the big spot with all the attention. I'd be fighting on the early prelims if I was even on this card at all, you know, so, um, Things happen, you know what I mean, and, and, and you're going to get kicked, kicked in the mouth a lot, and it's how you get up, right, that cliche thing, and uh, I don't say die, I don't quit, so, um, you know, it, it is what it is, I'm 0-2, and I understand my position, but again, that 0-2 makes me very, very dangerous, and a lot of you are really, really, really underestimating how good I am, so, um, you know, I, I take it with stride. I like it, man. So. Considering the years and the effort that you put in and all that you did, the journey to get here, then they say, hey, can you fight this teenager that just can't, I mean, I, I don't know, was there any part of you that was kind of like, F that, you know what I mean? Like, why are you doing this to me? Nope, not at all. Um, the way that I saw it was is that everybody's got a hype train on them, and you know, like I said, I have respect for the skill that Raul has. Um, I saw it as an opportunity. It is an opportunity for me, because 18 or not, people are watching, you know, and, and um, hate me, love me, you're going to watch. And uh, uh, that's really it. You know, there's a lot of hype behind the kid. And maybe when I beat him, um, it won't all be stolen, but I'll take a little bit of it, you know, and that'll be a good, a good launching point for me. It's a big pay-per-view. It's the last one of the year. People are going to be watching. All eyes on me, in the words of Tupac. Uh, so, you know, that's how I felt about it the whole time, was this is your opportunity to show people how good you are against an opponent that I really do match up quite well with. Um, you know, all the people in the betting lines can shove it, is what they can do. Um, but uh, yeah, that's really it. It wasn't. It wasn't ever like a why are you doing this to me. I kind of figured I know why they picked me. It's a mistake. I know I wasn't the, the first choice, and I shouldn't have been the third, fourth, or fifth choice. But um, you know, egos prevailed. So I think it's, it's an opportunity for me to show the world what I am, who I am, and how complete I am. So. Uh, Thank you. Last thing for me, uh, obviously, you're a big opportunity for you. I guess the question, you know, you're going to show how good you are. How good do you think Raul is? I think there's still a question around. I mean, do you, do you see him as a legitimate UFC caliber, you know, right now kind of thing? Or do you see more hype than substance right now? Uh, so I, I believe that he is a very talented young man. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have anything against him personally. Um, his skill is... I think people are enamored with how old he is and not the actual skill level now. We're at the UFC, this is the top of the world, correct? So now we have to start talking to him like we would anybody else that's not 18, 17, whatever the hell age he is. All right, if I fought and was as sloppy as the last fight was, you can say whatever you'd like, 
but there was definitely some unpolished stuff that happened in there. Um, I'm not going to pull guard seven times. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do all of these things that his opponent gave him um, in that fight. I think that, again, you're enamored with how old he is and all the hype around him and not the actual skill set, and that's what I'm looking at. And um, I, his, his grappling is amazing. You know, if we were at ADCC, I'd be in trouble. But guess what? We're not, you know? And um, I just don't, you know what I mean? Like, as a complete fighter, I don't see him on the same level as I am. And, you know, again, people say what they'd like. That's fine. But if we look at our strength of schedule in our last two, um, mine and his, they're very different calibers of people that we've fought. And the, the gap between them is much shorter. So, um, I do believe in two or three years, maybe even, a, maybe even less than that, he'll be what everybody proclaims him to be. But he's still an 18-year-old kid that is unpolished and hasn't been tested even one time. Even once has he fought any kind of adversity. And on Saturday, you are about to see what that looks like for him. And um, I know that when I first fought and got in the pros and got adversity, it was a panic that set into me because everything didn't go my way. So um, to answer your question, I do think that he's very good, and he will be very good. Um, not right now. Not on December 10th. He's not going to be good enough. So, Jay, in the front, right here. Uh, what you're saying, it reminds me of something that Paul Craig once said when he fought Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill was undefeated in the UFC, and he said being a young undefeated fighter in the UFC is dangerous because you haven't faced adversity and stuff. Are you in agreement with that when you enter the UFC being undefeated like that? I don't think you should be in the UFC by the time you face adversity. I feel like that should be something that is proven and tried prior to that. Um, so I think it is dangerous because it feeds your ego and to believe that you are a world killer, um, and that's fine. You know, as you should, you should have confidence in yourself. Um, but what happens when it doesn't go your way? You know, and, and again, in nine fights, he hasn't faced any adversity at all. Um, when he does, I really do believe that that's gonna gonna take an effect on him. So I, I mean, it depends on who you are and what you're coaching and all that other stuff, you know, factors into. But I, I really do think that um, it's risky. I think that that formula of just beating cans and then getting here um, and then finally fighting a tough guy, even a guy that doesn't have a 16 and one record, is that's dangerous because that guy that's got that 10 and six record has fought really tough people much tougher than the people you have and has faced that adversity over and over and over and has at least overcome it more times than he hasn't so um yeah to the answer that i think it's dangerous and it can be a, a detriment to you in your own way so he said he wants to be ufc champion by the time he's 20 is that just getting ahead of himself when does that happen Never. we didn't have anybody under 24 in the top 10 no. Okay. And we're at 135. I don't know if everybody remembers, but this is the hardest weight class in the world. So, word. You know what I mean? Like, great for you, dude. You're going to, that's, everybody wants to be that. And I want to be Santa Claus. You know what I mean? Like, get, get out of my face. I'm going to be, I'm going to get a world title shot in two fights. Bro, I don't know who's talking to you like that and telling you that that's the case, but you need to get new friends. Because anybody that heard that and was like, yeah, this is for sure. You should say that um, is wrong. And, a little dumb, honestly. So, uh, I mean, it's a nice goal to have. It's nice to say, you know, but before he's 20, you know what I mean? Stop. You know, what is that, a year from now? If he gets in the top 10 in a year, I'm writing a strongly worded email to somebody. That's all I know. They're getting a letter of, of some kind. Thank you, guys.